Hey, in this quick video, I want to talk to you about something called the Dawn Phenomenon or the Dawn Effect. This happens to every human on the planet. And now that some of you are using glucometers as a tool to test your health and test your blood sugar, you're catching this and I'm going to explain to you what it is. Now, first, before I start, I want you to take one second and click that subscribe button right down there that says subscribe. And that way, every time I get a bright idea, you'll be one of the very first to know about it. Now, let's talk about the dawn phenomenon or the dawn effects. So this, I've, I've heard a couple of experts misdescribe this in the past few days, and that's why I wanted to make a video so you guys would know exactly what's going on with the dawn effect. I'm going to call it that because that saves me some syllables in the course of this video. So everyone, when we're going from sleeping to waking, right, when you're waking up in the morning, sometime between 2 a.m. and 8 a.m. for most of us, your body has to do things to actually wake you up. Now, I know the alarm clock wakes most of you up, but you're already in the process of waking up before the alarm clock goes off. Your body does this by increasing secretions of cortisol, epinephrine, which is adrenaline, and norepinephrine, which is noradrenaline, depending on if you're watching this from the U.S. and Canada or the U.K. So the, there's, a, there's a temporal elevation of these three hormones. And that makes your blood sugar go up a few points. Now, I've heard experts say in the last few days that this happens only in diabetics, which is absolutely not true. To my knowledge, it happens in every human on the face of the planet every morning. And then I've also heard people imply that it only happens if you're eating a ketogenic diet, which is also silly and untrue. This happens to everyone when they're waking up. And some of you may startle awake like, like oh, something scared me. That's the adrenaline right, in the cortisol, and when that happens, your blood sugar goes up anywhere from 5 to 25 points, but it doesn't stay up. It's only up for a little while, and, and a lot of you have been checking a fasting blood sugar, and that's how you've caught this, this dawn effect, right? But then if you check again in an hour, your blood sugar is right back down to normal. So there's no danger from this. If you're a diabetic and you have this, almost never should you adjust your medications based on this, so don't worry about it. Just know about it, and if you're using a glucometer to, to, and sticking your finger, to watching your blood sugar carefully, making sure that you don't have signs of hyperglycemia or insulin resistance, then you'll know that's the dawn effect. It's nothing to worry about. Uh, like I said, your blood sugar can go up anywhere from 5 to 30 points, give or take, depending on the person. And it's not bad. It's not dangerous. There's nothing you need to do. Uh, the amount of of carbs that you've eaten the day before really don't have much of an effect on this at, at all, and it's nothing to worry about. It's called the dawn effect or the dawn phenomenon, and you'll see this if you're checking your blood sugar. It's absolutely nothing to worry about. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you know someone who's just bought a glucometer and they're checking their blood sugar, trying to get rid of their type 2 diabetes or trying not to become a type 2 diabetic, please share this video with them on your social media. Please email it to them. Please text it to them. That way, when they check that morning blood sugar and it's 10 or 20 points higher than they're expecting, they'll know it's the dawn phenomenon or the dawn effect, and it's not something more concerning and more dangerous, okay? This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next video.